Hello everyone, this is One Stupid Gamer, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we awakened to the power of Persona, met Morgana and Ryuji, and escaped the palace. And then we came back, this hmm. time on Persona 5 Royal, after Joker stops mean, We are going to follow Morgana to investigate the castle. Let's go. Uh... Hey, we went by here when we came in the front. What the? I was seeing double or something just now. Was that Shujin? I told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have the time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up? Let's go. Come on, this way. All right, we're going back the way we came. I had a feeling there would be guards here. It looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard. Allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. When you attack a nearby enemy by pressing A, a battle will begin. Watch for the red icon to appear when you're in range. If you approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, the ambush icon will appear. Attack at that moment for an edge in battle. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. I'll reveal your true you. form. So, as Morgana said, we have ambushed the enemy, which means we have a free turn to attack before the enemy can even possibly attack. So let's Calm take use of that time. Zoro, show your might. These things are weak to win, so it's best to just use a melee attack as Joker and have Morgana attack with his persona. And Joker right. leveled up to level four. Level All right. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before. Where'd they go? Quiet down. Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. <sighs> How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. 
In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Ah, I'm so fed up with all this. I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest-to-God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is... well... It's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. In a safe room, you can consult with your teammates and save your game by pressing, well, the menu button. You can also save at the palace entrance. So, remember when I said that the game is lying to you, where you can save anywhere? That is more true in the metaverse. You can't save anywhere in the metaverse. You can only save at the palace <sighs> entrance or in safe rooms. So, make sure you save often when you're in a safe room. Also, there's one added benefit to safe rooms. Of course, as the game... Oh, I can't do it now. Never mind, I will go into that later. Hmm. But you can also talk to the other people in the safe room. What does Ryuji have to say? Damn it. Damn it. Where'd those guys who were locked up go? They probably got moved to another location. But where and why? Don't ask me. Well. But there were soldiers around, right? Maybe we could try eavesdropping on them. All right, what does Morgana have to say? Damn it. Oh, it's the same thing. Well then. Oops. Okay, okay. All right, so safe room, you have no threats, you can save here, and you can also do other stuff later that the game mentions, but you can't do it at this current moment. When you're ready, go back out the door. Now then. There should still be soldiers outside, and let's take note of the situation and get out there. Hmm, I thought I just heard something move over there. Guess it was my imagination. And what of the slaves? They're all still in the training hall. I assume they'd be screaming in pain by now. Very well. By the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. Hmm. Did you hear hmm. that? They said training hall, right? Okay, let's go. I think that's just a little further ahead. Let's go. Yes, let's. Now, when it. Oh, there's a guard on duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. When you're spotted by an enemy, the security level will rise. This is shown on the gauge in the upper left. As the security level rises, it becomes more difficult to investigate the palace, so be careful. Uh, then what do we do if that happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? Okay, so the description for the security level is kinda bad. So... What the security level does is it's basically a gauge telling you how hard it will be when you get into a battle. If it's pretty low, you'll have a pretty easy time fighting enemies in a palace, but the higher it gets, you'll obviously 
they'll start calling reinforcements and it will be harder to win battles. There's also one extra thing. If the security level makes it to 100%, you will be automatically kicked out of the palace, wasting your day. So make sure that does not happen. Ambush enemies as much as possible and try not to get caught. You can hide behind walls to avoid detection. Hmm. When they turn around, Show strike. Show me your true form. Alright, we have Gallows Flower. We have nothing these things are weak to, so I'm actually gonna use Cleave. It does waste HP, but it's better than just using your melee attack. Go down! We're gonna use Garter, which I don't really like. Ah, oh, really? Oh, come on! There we go. Um, so, I thought that was kind of Morgana's using Garu, which I'm not a big fan of because I usually like saving SP as much as possible. Well, we still won, but it sucks that Morgana missed that one attack. Ugh, so not needed. So Arsene leveled up. You may right. be noticing that Joker and his persona are leveling up separately. I'll go into more detail why that is later. It's not important for now. Hey. Training hall's up ahead, right? Yeah, it's a little further. Make sure you watch out for any guards along the way. Have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah, it looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Leave it to me. Dude, I, I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything. You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. Gun attacks are considered a gun skill. Press up on the D-pad to ready your gun and then A to attack. You can continue shooting until you run out of ammunition. You can also change targets between shots with D-pad left or right. Guns are very special. You can attack one enemy multiple times rather than once, and you can change targets between, so you can attack multiple targets, which is something you can't do with your normal attack. Since... So you can strategically distribute your damage and make the game easier. There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Of course, you can run out of ammo, but using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. Guns have higher attack power than melee weapons, but they have a limited amount of ammunition. However, your ammunition will be restored after battle, so feel free to use it all up. Alright, I'll show you my weapon too. And of course, Morgana has one too. Morgana leveled up to level 4. For real? Whoa, did that toy gun just shoot real freaking bullets? This is a cognitive world. As long as our opponent sees it as real, it becomes such. It's a good thing it's realistic looking. I don't get it. Listen to this. Because they recognize it as a gun, your ammo capacity is limited in battle. But the enemies are expecting you to come at them with guns loaded, so your ammo is replenished in every new fight. 
What's the commotion over here? What? Why, you bastards? Get ready. Here comes another one. Let's get them. Take them down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on. Dump it into the enemy. Insta kill with that gun skill. As Morgana and his tutorial said, your ammo replenishes after every fight. Now, gun is also hmm. gun is gun is also its own element. So some enemies have some resistances, or they're even weak to gun. So keep that in mind when you're fighting an enemy you don't know its weakness. Just like I thought, all our ammo is returned for that fight. Wasn't well, sure whether or not to bring it at first, but I'm sure glad I did. Nice. We're definitely lucky to have an additional firearm in our arsenal. I must say, well done. Even if it was just dumb luck that it worked here. Mm -hmm. Did you really have to put it like that? Quit grabbing, Blondie. You're still getting praised. Oh, by the way, we should decide how we divvy up our roles in battle from here on out. As you can see, there are quite a lot of enemies. It'll be important to coordinate our moves as well. I can keep providing intel for us, but you should decide how we fight, Frizzy Hair. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by how we fight? Basically, what we do in battle. He can order us directly or let us decide what we do. Though, I guess I'm the only one after one fighting right now. You can change your party members' actions during battle by assigning tactics to them. You can either set a particular course of action for them to take, or choose to control them directly. You can assign tactics by going to the stats in the Y menu. You can also change tactics by pressing LT on Ren's turn, then select tactics under the order menu. What do you want to do? What's the plan? Want me to follow orders or acting on my own? So, if you tell Morgana to act freely, he will behave pretty much how he's been behaving all the time, him deciding his own attacks. I used this once, and it's very frustrating. The AI keeps doing what I don't want it to do. So, for me, I'm going to be choosing direct commands. Honestly, I don't know a single person who chooses act freely besides for a challenge or something. It's such a weird choice. Understood. Let's see what you got. So, we have an enemy here. Don't forget, the minimap is important. Hmm. You see that red dot? That's that enemy. So, it's actually best to wait till he turns around. <sighs> so we can get a better ambush on him, like now. I'll reveal your true form. So now we finally have control of Morgana. Now I'm going to talk a little more about how Morgana works. Morgana is very different from Joker. He has different skills. He uses wind attacks where Joker uses curse attacks. Morgana also has higher magic stats than Joker. But in, he also has terrible defense and terrible health. He can use a lot of magic attacks. But that's about where his usefulness goes. He also knows Dia instead of Cleave, which is a healing spell. It's very clear that Morgana is the healer. You really want to make Morgana as alive as possible. Especially now, since he is, he is for now the only healer. But these things are weak to win. And don't forget, don't be ashamed to finish off with the melee attack. You want to conserve SP. Nice work, team. Right. A guard. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to be going too. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. But wait, this might be a good time. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Is this a new technique? Something like that. Let's go. There's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something? First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Come! Alright, let's use Aha on it. Damn! Alright! Now rush on in for an all-out attack! Press Y to do an all-out attack after knock you knock out all enemies. Do it! All out 
attacks are the heart and soul of this game. Your goal in every battle is to hmm, do an all-out really well. attack. You're definitely fit for this. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. All right. You can initiate an all-out attack from a hold-up by pressing Y. All-out attacks are ultimate attacks which deal heavy damage to all foes. However, you cannot use one if Ren cannot act or if only he can act. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. All out attacks are very, very helpful. Your goal in every battle should be to use the all out attack. It is an amazing attack that does an insane amount of damage and it pierces through all affinities, so no enemy is strong against a, an all out attack. You want to be doing these as much as possible. There's also one other thing the tutorial doesn't hmm. mention. You can't use an all out attack with an ally that's an incapacity. Yes! All right, this is it. Kamashita's training hall of love? What kind of bullshit is this? E yeah. This voice, where's it coming from? Whoa. Oh, is it coming from over there? How many times do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. The hell? Why is it gotta be so complicated? So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but if they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? My camera app won't open. Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Let's go! Okay, let's check the cells around there. Damn it! That bastard. I bet this is really happening in reality, too, so the abuse rumors weren't fake. Oh, 
water. Ugh, please, no more. Uh, giving athletes water even for tough training is a common thing in the real world, too. That sack of shit. I'm gonna try and memorize all those guys' faces before we go back. Okay, I'm done. Let's go see. Let's check and see if there's any more. I don't know why you guys are here, but just leave us alone. Hey! What are you talking about? Are you seriously okay with this? I guess there's no point in trying to talk to them. It hurts! It hurts! Come on, man. What the hell? That ain't training at all. It's just violence. That means he's doing something similar in reality, too, right? Damn that bastard. Hurry it up. <laughs> I know, I know. Just give me a sec. I'll memorize him quick. What are your thoughts? Hey, are you done yet? We're plugging it close here. Don't freak me out like that, you moron. Yeah. Anyway, I got all of them. Then let's stop wasting time. We need to scram. I don't want people to glare at me like they do to you. Don't drag me into your mess. What? Hey, that don't matter. You seriously don't care about getting treated like shit? <sighs> I guess there's no point in saying any of this. We're back. We gotta get out of here quick. That watch post near the training hall has ceased reporting. Chances of intruder activity are extremely high. All personnel, increase security measures. Oh, man. We've been here too long. Come on, let's get out of here. This way. The exit's this way. Let's hurry. To think you'd make the same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. The hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. <laughs> Track traitor. What a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. That's not true! What a tragedy. You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God damn it. Ryuji, move! Uh, we're surrounded. I'll kill you. I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us. I'll kill cuz that's what he wants! Come! Alright. So we are encircled right now. So this is actually the position enemies take if we have were ambushed ourselves. I'll be talking more about this later. There! Ah! There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Failure! It can't be. <laughs> I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me? 
Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. That coach who got fired was hopeless too. Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team is gone too because of this asshole. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Ryuji! Don't let him win! You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida! What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! You made me wait quite a while. <laughs> You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou, thou and I. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! No, this is miserable. Right on. What's up, Persona? This seven rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! Troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters. Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? Then I'll act like the troublemaker I am. Let's do this, Captain Kid! Ryuji! As you can see, he has mo more health than anyone here. He's also extremely strong. <laughs> But we'll go more into his strengths later. For now, let's just kick this guy's ass. So he knows electric skills, which these 32 horned beasts are weak to. Kid! The enemy's dead! Persona! Let's go, Captain! The enemy's dead! Now he can also use it on the guard captain here. He's not weak to it, though. He's actually not weak to anything, so just use whatever you want against him. Go down! Oh, Morgana. What do I actually want to do with Morgana? I want to use this guy. I wanted to, I wanted to kill, I wanted to kill one of those things because, uh, oh, that's it. yeah, because of that. Let's get this on the list. Awesome. And by the way, each character has a different weapon. So as you can see, Ryuji's is a is a pipe, and his gun is a shotgun, which is freaking awesome. 
Oh, he's resistant again. Maybe that wasn't the best time to show him. Uh, I'm getting this free with Joker because he's not really weak to anything. You know what? This is safe. I'm just getting this started. I am a loyal subject of the glorious King Kamoshida. So why have I lost? It just proves that Kamoshida ain't anything special. had the potential too even if you apologize now i ain't forgiving you i told you that this is my castle it seems you still don't understand what takamaki oh what a meowless and beautiful girl what's going on so jealous. Now's not the time for that. Damn it. Why is Takamaki here? Hey, let go of her, you perv. How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki, say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. <laughs> Damn it! Clean them up this instant! We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run? We can't die here. Thank God you've got a level head. <sighs> Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Ignore him. Let's go. <sighs> Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. You look like a thug. What the hell? It's much better than your magician looking one. Did you find them? Quiet. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. Easy for you to say. Wait, we're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot, relax. The Kamoshida in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So... We're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? 
Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? Let me think about it. What? The nerve! Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky-dory? Oh, hell no! Get back here! You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God, we're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? I'm exhausted. I guess you don't really show it, huh? But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Sure, I'll help. Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, so if you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. How'd that happen? Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. Seriously? No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. Of course. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. I can sense a bond of trust coming from Ryuji. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. We have achieved the chariot persona confidant. Confidants are super important in this game. Of course, I will be going over it later because we can't really do much about them right now. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now. So why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Sure. Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What? What the hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Calm down. But just hearing your story makes me angry! So, you left your hometown and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. You may be right. You're the first guy that made me think that. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. 
like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. What are you doing? Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too. The chat app is now available. You may now occasionally receive messages from those close to you. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rally's tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But, thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more! There's tons of ginger here! So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. You're being too loud. Ah, right. <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since the meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. <sighs> On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Hang in there, Shio. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? Of course. I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. Uh, as long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Hey, I decided to go ahead and message you. Can you see this? Nope. You so can. I'm gonna be counting on you tomorrow, okay? Got it. You're my, you're a bro, man. Well, see you tomorrow. Let's leave those guys who gained a fuse, you and me. Shh, are you even listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Check the cardboard box in the attic of LeBlanc and then claim your bonus content. All bonus personas have been registered in the inmate registry in the Velvet Room. Morgana car sticker applicable at the entrance of mementos. Yeah, the game just said total nonsense. Don't worry, it'll make sense later. So I downloaded the PC version of this game and it should have come with everything really. 
Yeah, it did. Look at that. Look at all that stuff I'm freaking unlocking. Holy hell, it's still going. Can it stop now? Future me, this isn't important. Skip through this. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. Anyway, that will be all for this episode. Next time on Persona 5 Royal, we're going to be uncovering evidence for the abuses and finally get Kamashita locked up once and for all. This is One Stupid Gamer, signing out.